in March 2023, we moved into a vacant house in the Japanese countryside. The properties in our area are scattered around, so we don't have any neighbors right next to us. If you're new to our channel, my name's Stephen. We basically got a small jungle growing around our house, so we try to keep it back as best we can. I have a feeling I might need to invest in some power tools soon. Okay, they just come back. Just... <laughs> if you watched our first video, you'll be familiar with all our house guests we found living here when we first moved in. They even seem to be creeping into our dreams and affecting our sleep. But luckily Yumi was able to get us a good net that we could put up before bed, which certainly eased our minds and improved our sleep. It was a big help in the beginning, but we are fine sleeping without it now too. One thing we noticed was the obvious gap between the walls and the wooden beams in parts of the house. It's a feature sometimes in rooms of older Japanese homes, and it was a place that spiders and things liked retreating to when we were trying to catch them. So we decided it was probably best to close the gaps. First we tried using a simple soft sort of putty but that was never going to be a good solution. So we filled the gaps with foam. Placed a strip of wood over the top. And used a silicone sealant. Just to make sure nothing was going in or coming out. Success. When we moved in here, we noticed that most of the tatami mats were old and in a bad condition. We decided to change them. There are a couple of local businesses here on the island which can do this for you. What happens is they come to your house lift up the tatami mats and take them back to their small factory. They replace the top surface of each tatami mat onto the existing base and then return them to you all on the same day. As we were cleaning the floorboards we noticed more gaps so we placed down sheeting which is designed to help keep insects out before putting the tatami mats back on top. We replaced 13 mats in total at a cost of 4,000 yen per mat. Ah, that's better. Our first water bill after we moved in was six times what it should be. Almost 20,000 yen the same price as our rent. There was a major leak somewhere and we needed to get a plumber in fast. It took him some time but thankfully he managed to locate and fix the leak. He happened to move an old sink unit during his work revealing some big holes. Another obvious entry point for our house guests. We were definitely going to throw the old unit away, but decided the whole room could use a bit of a makeover. Time to put our beginner DIY skills to the test again. Am I pushing down? <laughs> In case you were wondering, 
The owner doesn't mind us making any changes to the place. But of course, because we don't own it, we are trying to find that balance of what we want to do and how much we spend. Our plan for this room was to fix all the holes, plaster over the wood panelling, and reinstall a simple wash basin and mirror. I helped out where I could, but Yumi definitely has a natural flair for DIY and making things. So as you can see, she did most of the work on this project. In the beginning, it was a dark, uncomfortable room. But now it's much brighter and a place we feel happy using. And let's not forget 
We always have our amazing little busy bee helping us with jobs around the house. ナイスムカデなのこれは。可愛いムカデだね。赤ちゃんムカデ。うん。